Hello friends, welcome to the channel Physics to Learn. Today we will learn about first law of thermodynamics, what are its applications and what are its limitations. So let's start from the basics that is what is thermodynamics. Thermodynamics is the branch of physics which is related with the heat and temperature and their relation to the energy and work. It is derived from the Greek words thermos and dynamics which means hot and force respectively. What is a thermodynamic system? A collection of the large number of particles having certain values of the pressure, volume and temperature is known as thermodynamic system. And thermodynamic system is a part of the universe which is under observation and except system everything is surrounding. Thermodynamic variables These determine the thermodynamic behavior of the system for example pressure, volume and temperature and internal energy and entropy which are denoted by U and S are other variables. All other variables are, can be expressed in the terms of pressure, volume and temperature. Now the statement of first law of thermodynamics. It is basically law of conservation of energy which states energy can neither be created nor be destroyed but can be converted from one form to another form. Its statement is basically heat supplied to a system is used in two ways. A part is increasing the in internal energy and other part is doing work. The statement of law came in 1850 from Rudolf Clausius and from William Rankine. And mathematical form becomes Q is equal to delta U plus W where work done is equal to pressure into change in volume W is equal to PdV and the sign conventions used by this first law is work done by a system is taken as positive and that on the system is taken as negative heat added to the system is positive and increase in internal energy is taken as positive while other is negative. So consider a system where work is done on the, by the system 10 joule and heat supply to the system is 40 joule then both are positive according to sign convention then change in internal energy from the first law arranging delta u is equal to q minus w is equal to 40 joule minus 10 joule is equal to 30 joule. Application of the first law of thermodynamics. Number one is isothermal process. We are just applying the first law of thermodynamics to different processes. Isothermal process is a process where temperature remains same. So internal energy does not change. Hence first law of thermodynamics is equal to heat is equal to work done. That is on the system or by the system. It will depend upon sign convention. And then number two is adiabatic process. Adiabatic process if the system does work then it is inter, its internal energy decreases because adiabatic process is a process where q is equal to 0 so delta u is equal to minus w accordingly everything will change and number 3 is isobaric process isobaric process is a process where pressure remains constant hence work done is equal to pdv is always there so first law remains same isochoric process where heat supplied increases the internal energy because work done is equal to 0 so first law becomes q is equal to delta u and cyclic process is a process where internal energy of the process does not change after going from one state to another state then coming back to one state hence first law is modified that q is equal to w and melting process is a process where volume does not change so increase in internal energy that is arranging the first law delta u is equal to delta q or we can say q which is ml latent heat of fusion l is equal to q upon m and for the boiling process its volume change and accordingly q is equal to ml and work done is always there for boiling process because volume is changing and relation between cp and cv is cp minus cv is equal to r this is also application of first law of thermodynamics for ideal gas. What is heat engine? Heat engine is a device which converts energy into work. That is it is the application of first law of thermodynamics 
also it is the application of second law of thermodynamics now let us discuss about the limitations of the first law of thermodynamics it fails to indicate the direction in which heat flows when bodies are in contact it is not telling us about the direction of flow of heat and number 2 it does not tell about the final temperature of the two bodies when they are in direct contact and number 3 it does not tell about the entropy of the system it does not give idea about entropy s fails to justify the impossibility of the creating a device which undergo cyclic operations